Good morning. Good morning, Valder. Good morning. How are you? Well, hi. Do I have James Murray yes. and Joe Gatto? Gatto, Gatto. yes. Gotta, gotta, I love that name. Gatto, yes. Hi, you're <laughs> live in Dallas, Texas on the Valder BB Show. All Thanks right. for joining us I today. Love, I love your name. Your name is, is I've lovely. never met a Valder. Have you ever met a Joe? <laughs> I have a Joe in my family. Okay, well, there you go. <laughs> I met a Joe. Well, look, you guys are True TV's Impractical Jokers, and I had a chance to watch you. Oh, Thank you. Guys, great. You guys do crazy things. Tell me about Impractical Joker, somebody. Tell me, James. Well, Impractical Jokers is an upside-down prank show where the joke is on us, basically, instead of the public. So in real life, the four of us are best friends. We've known each other for 23 years, and uh, we set out into the streets of New York City, uh, and the guys tell us what we have to say and do, and then we have to try to do it and, and embarrass ourselves in the process. And it's... Uh, it's terrifying and embarrassing and uh, hysterical as a result. Yeah, we torture no, each other. I think it's funny, and I'm not even a jokester kind of person. I'm, I'm, I, I try not to be so serious. I'm very analytical. That's the kind of person I am. But I was laughing hilariously at Impractical Jokers. Did you, were you analyzing why you were laughing at it because you didn't understand why you thought it was funny? <laughs> yeah, because I was saying, oh, that's so silly. And it, but it was. You guys had this guy, and I think he was in a shoe store, and you were telling him to say different things on this particular episode. Yeah, yeah, and he I was remember. saying things that made no sense at all. <laughs> yeah, that was a tough one. <laughs> yeah, the shoe store was a good time. <laughs> I, that was fun. Where, you guys, okay, you guys have been best friends. Mm -hmm. Now you get a chance to bring this to the, to the screen. Have you guys always been practical jokers? Yeah, I mean, since we met in high school, uh, you know, we know each other a long time, and, you know, Friends know how to uh, embarrass friends the best, is like what we like to say. So you know, now we get to do it for a living. So yeah. it's a good time. And after high school, it's after high school, we formed our comedy troupe, the Tenderloins, and uh, just kind of honed our embarrassment skills <laughs> there. Okay, now I got to tell you guys something. Okay, my producers watch the show also. I'm laughing. I don't think they were laughing as much because the single women were saying, you know, this is what's wrong with guys. They never grow up. This is how they act their whole <laughs> lives. Then what do you guys say about that as practical Here, jokers? Here's what I say about that. The four of us are single in our mid to late 30s. Your producers are entirely They are right. correct. They are smart people. Do, they, do you have they any friends are. that they you can set up with? They say you guys are single. I don't know how they knew that, but they, they do their homework. But they said, yeah, this is what single guys do. They never grow up. This is why we can't find husbands and stuff like that. So you guys are giving single guys a bad name in that respect. Well, I think we're also showing that, I mean, what do women say is the number one quality uh, for that they look for in a man? It's sense of humor. Sense of humor. So, That's right. touche to your producer friends. Ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> As you bring practical jokers to the TV, I always have to ask this question about uh, comedians. Are you guys going to be nice? Because you know, today um, uh, comedy is a little mean spirited. Yeah, that's not our that's not our forte. We like to uh, we like to aim it inward. We are we're not our show is not about getting the public mad or you know doing things. You know, we are the marks in our own prank show where we're just trying to embarrass our friends and mess with our friends uh, in front of the general public. So. And I think that's one of the reasons why the show has succeeded because unlike other prank shows it's uh the joke's on us so the public likes to see that that we're not being mean-spirited we're actually just having a lot of fun together yeah it's a true uh, camaraderie because we've been fr we're real as friends yeah as practical jokers who are your 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 mentors or people that inspire Ooh. you you know uh, uh other people have mentors for what they do like great acting and stuff who's your your comedy mentor well um, growing growing up i mean uh you know saturday night live has always been a big part of all, I think all of our, sure. our, our lives and then uh, the, you know all the Mel Brooks films that are a huge oh, part of yeah. my life Airplane Leslie Nielsen all that oh stuff, yeah you know. Bill, Murray, Bill Murray a huge yeah. Bill Murray fan and Richard Pryor of course and, yeah. my gosh yeah. well you guys got a great list of, of, of inspiration well you think you'll ever make a movie that that's really funny because I think you know we live in such a serious time <laughs> sometimes and you know all the movies about killing and war and sex and that's, that's got its place I guess yeah. but People love to laugh. That's that's the dream. You know, we're hoping to do many more seasons of Impractical Jokers, and then ultimately do a uh, a movie of us. You know, uh, uh, of us doing these pranks all across America. Or we have the great drama script that we want to do. <laughs> <laughs> it's a period piece. It's a period piece, period set, piece in set, in, set in Civil War. Set in Civil War. Well, maybe you can make it funny because oh, it was a stupid war. I mean, <laughs> right. Well, look, guys, you guys, uh, uh, I think you're on to something. But I think you know that. Oh, <laughs> well, we're we're just having fun and enjoying the ride. The uh, you know the fans have been awesome, and we've gotten some great feedback, and we're just really appreciative of what it's become. 
can, tell me, when can we watch Impractical Jokers on True TV? The show's on every Thursday night, uh, beginning tonight, uh, at 10 p.m. Eastern, 9 p.m. Central on True TV. Mm -hmm. And I recommend it as a person with very little humor. I really <laughs> recommend Impractical Jokers because it is funny, guys. Thank you for talking to me about your uh, your great success. Oh, thank we you. Appreciate so nice it. to Holiday. talk to you. Thanks. Well, thank you for being in Dallas, Texas. We truly appreciate okay. it. Keep on laughing. <laughs> I will. Cheers. Okay. Bye-bye.